cities worldwide are taking back control of their water systems. Buenos Aires, Hamilton, Paris, Kuala Lumpur, Dar es Salaam. Years ago, they thought private companies could do better. Now they know that's not true. Because they've seen the worst of unequal access. They've endured technical failures and environmental catastrophes. Tariffs increased while their water systems were decaying. Now these cities are getting their heads out of water with remunicipalization. They're transferring water surfaces from private companies to municipal authorities. It's not an easy word to say, nor is it easy to do. But it can be done, and it can outperform private management. Oh, yeah! Take Buenos Aires. In 1993, the government granted a 30-year concession to a subsidiary of French water company Suez. The private company's profits soared, even as it failed to comply with its contract. Over 10 years, urban residents saw their water bills increase by 88%. When the debt crisis struck Argentina in 2002, the company sued the country for its financial losses, and international courts are threatening to impose fines over $1 billion. After long but unsuccessful negotiations, the president of Argentina finally announced the creation of a new public water company. Expansion of access became the main objective, and the government pumped millions into infrastructure to universalize water access. Some innovative new strategies were rolled out, such as the creation of worker cooperatives that involve residents in expanding the water network in low-income neighborhoods. This initiative alone connected more than 700,000 new water users. This new public utility is not perfect, however. It was set up in haste with little public debate, and monitoring is largely in executive hands. But it's a step in the right direction, and it now puts people ahead of profit. Or take Paris. In 2008, the city of Paris sent shockwaves through the water community when it decided not to renew its contract with French companies Suez and Veolia, the world's biggest water multinationals. They had operated the city's water supply since 1985. Several audits had revealed the company's excessive profits and other dubious schemes enough to turn influential city officials into champions of public water. During his re-election campaign, the mayor of Paris pledged to bring water back into public hands. By 2010, the new public entity, Eau de Paris, was operating and realized 35 million euros in direct savings in its first year. As a result, water tariffs were reduced by 8%. But it was not an easy process. The multinationals lobbied hard and took the city to court. Information technology transfer was a challenge. Relations between unions were tense, and some city departments resisted change. But despite these obstacles, the transition was a success. Eau de Paris has since proven to be an efficient, transparent, socially, and environmentally responsible public water provider. It has given water solidarity allocations to some 44,000 low-income households in Paris and has established solidarity public-public partnerships with various cities in the South. It has helped 118 farmers around water catchment areas eliminate the use of toxic chemicals that pollute the water supply. Paris has shown that even where corporate power is entrenched, people can reclaim and improve their water services. What lessons can we take away from these experiences? Water privatization is reversible. Transfer to a public provider can happen with little disruption, and a committed workforce can improve water services by making equity and affordability a priority, offering quality services, and protecting the environment. Remunicipalization can be done anywhere. It is challenging, and there are no simple blueprints, but by sharing experiences, cities can learn from each other. Private management of water is failing all over the world, and we must be ready for alternatives. Cities should think about ways to regain control over their water systems. Cities must ask themselves what public means after years of privatization. And you, the water user, need to have a say. Do it! Remunicipalization works.